Hi guys, welcome to this setup. It's a virtual box. And this video is there because life is full of changes and so are the packages. So we download packages from the internet, from AOR, and maintainers from AOR, not us, decide to change packages. If you update the system at this point in time, the point in time is Wednesday, 23 June, and you start sublime text, you get this thing. Please enter your license key. Now, if you have one, that's fine. You can use your Linux key here. You can purchase here. So yeah, if you've got the money, please do so. But there is a but, right? So it says here the package. So that's um, a development from somebody else. The package is not right. The, the Sublime Text itself is from a different development team. The package build is from a different maintainer, not us. And that they decided here, this package is now used for the actual dev branch of Sublime Text. If you want to keep using the latest stable release, you should instead install Sublime Text 4. So that's what we're gonna do. That's basically what this video is about, read and execute. So pacman minus s, that's not gonna work. That's uh, a dash, voila, minus s, and then sublime text, yes. Of course, we've put it on our repo already. It's pre-built, and it's, it pops, pacman says, hey, look, um, you're actually installing the same thing. Uh, which one? Remove this one, yes, no. So yes, remove sublime text, def, the def needs to go, and the four needs to enter, and then again, Yes, you guessed it. Then again, we have sublime text. All right, enjoy.